At Michelle Chaudhry's art opening last week, I saw a familiar face. I first met architect Jonathan Stone Sutton seven years ago at another art opening for Randall Exxon at Wallingford's Community Arts Center. Yeah, my name's uh, Jonathan Sutton. Uh, I'm an architect. I designed the gallery which Randy is presently showing in, which is an extension to uh, an historic building. The concept behind the addition to this house that was built in 1898 was to have a high space that would be engaged on each level of the existing building so that people moving from the old building where the classrooms are and so forth could come out into the space and see what was happening in the galleries. So it created a much more dynamic space for the art center to have interaction with the various shows that were taking place in the galleries. Plus it, it gave us the ability to show bigger canvases, mobiles, and other things that required more dramatic settings. It certainly enhanced what the Art Center has been able to offer our community, so that's a big benefit from, from our side. Are you from Wallingford, Swarthmore? No, I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio, but I went to Penn in architecture school, as did my wife. We met there and settled down in Philadelphia because we found it a, a nice place to, to live and work. So. Most of my work has been a larger scale to do with land planning, new communities, that sort of thing. Uh, however, locally I've done smaller projects of this nature. In our business downtown Philadelphia, we've renovated and restored historic buildings. Can you talk about those big wooden beams and what made you decide to put those in? They're beautiful, uh, by the way. Uh, thank you. Well, I was trying to think of a way to tie a more contemporary exhibition space to the older stone and wood building, which is very strong and monumental. I thought the clearest way would be to carry a strong wood theme into the addition. That's why I decided to reveal uh, the structure on the inside rather than hide it behind walls. Often when you go to a gallery, which is understandable, you're presented with very clean and structure is played down. However, I thought that we could possibly combine the structure with also providing good exhibition spaces to give it a little more strength in terms of the architecture. Thanks a lot, and it is a remarkable achievement. I love this building. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, thanks. Thank you. I am not the only fan of this fantastic space. Four years later, in 2014, the Community Art Center hosted a show of Michelle Chaudhry. Michelle also fell in love with Jonathan's architectural vision. So much so that I heard rumors that the painter had hired the architect to build him a studio. You're the award-winning architect who's helping uh, build a studio for Michelle, correct? <laughs> Right, right. When's that going to be done? It's, uh, well, it's, it's all done. It's done. I'm using oh, it now. <laughs> oh my God! You gotta send me photos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet it's pretty spectacular. Oh, absolutely! It's stunning. Michel really, really needed a studio upgrade. He is a doctor, but paints early in the morning and then again after he gets home from his medical practice. 
Mashul had been uh, working in his basement since moving uh, to New Jersey in a fairly confined space. So he was looking for the opportunity to build something uh, at grade with natural light where he would have a little more room to do his own work. Plus, he teaches some students and groups. So he wanted to be sure to be able to have enough space where he could do his art and then also welcome people into his house and show them on the way to his studio some of his work in a gallery space and then in a studio space. And the effort that I wanted to do when I saw the site that was confined to some degree by setbacks was to give him a two-story studio which tied both into his bedroom levels on the second floor as well as on uh, the first floor. So uh, it was an interesting problem working with Voris Township and Mashul to kind of get the best balance in terms of what was possible on the property. So hopefully we're, I guess, more or less totally complete now. He seems very happy with it, so I'm, I'm happy as well. So. Let me ask you, as an artist yourself, how does your architectural aesthetic relate to Mashul's painting aesthetic? I think one, if you look at his work, he is very interested in architectural subjects and geometries and, and walls, his photographs, he photographs these walls that have texture. So I think architecture is an inspiration for his artistic work and then what he liked and wanted to do, uh, which was similar to something I did at a gallery at the Community Art Center, which was to introduce very strong natural materials, columns, beams, trusses, uh, to define the interior spaces. And I think that's something that he really wanted, which uh, I think hopefully I provided for him in, uh, in his own space. So. It's been a great pleasure working with him, and it's, it's fantastic to see his work. Hopefully this space will also increase you know, his productivity. <laughs> it's a great show. And it's a beautiful thing to see two wonderfully creative people working together.